All right, so this is another leak code easy problem. Uh, first, you need character in a string. So given a string S, find the first non-repeating character in it and return its index. Um, if there is not a repeating character, I mean, if there is not a non-repeating character, return negative one. So this one, all of them are unique besides E, but the first one is L. The first unique uh, character is L, so it returns zero. Since that's the first one. Um, this one, V, is the first character, so return two. And then all of, none of these are unique so um, in the string, so return negative one. Uh, yeah, and so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, one way to do it is using a map to keep track of uh, the count of the characters. So uh, we could do map equals hash map. Um, so the key will be a character, the value be an int, and then, um, yeah, so, yeah, basically we need to loop through, or first, before we even can loop, I guess we could do it without doing this, but I usually just create a um, an array, a character array. So S to char array, and then uh, yeah, you can also just access the index here, depending how you write your for loop. But I just like doing it this way. Um, yeah, and so we can do C for C in S array. So C will be each character as we're looping through the array, and then so. Um, so we'll do map C. So we're setting the uh, <laughs> character as a key. And then so we'll do map.get or default. And so this basically is kind of in the name. <laughs> if, it's, um, if it does have a value, it will return it. If not, you can set a default, which is a second parameter. So we'll try to get C. And if it's not there, um, set it to 0. Yeah, but in either case, we need to increment one. And that's kind of why we set it to zero because we're going to add one anyways. But also because we'll add one if we already have it here. Um, yeah, if it's not unique. I mean, if it is unique. So, yeah, and we'll do it, uh, another loop uh, to actually find the first um, unique character. Um, so we can do i and zero until. There's a lot of ways we can use for each, but um, it's array dot size, and then we'll do we'll just do an if statement really. So if map um, it's array i, so this is the same thing up here. C. So this is the uh, character starting at uh, whatever <laughs> the first character is. So. But if that equals one in the map, then we'll return the index. So return i. If not, and we get through all of the um, characters, and none of them are uh, unique, we'll return negative one, and that should work. So I'll use. Oh, I think I'll use them. Maybe see. Okay, yeah. And then we'll just submit it. And yep, and yeah, so that's first unique character in a string number 387 on leak code.